Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to episode 2 of my UFC 3 career with my heavyweight striker. This is about to be an epic battle versus me and a nobody. But uh, I want you guys to make sure you hit that like button before we hop into this video. So let's get into it. It's been said that you play baseball, play football, or play basketball. You don't play fighting. To put yourself on the line against an opponent trained to defeat you is not something for the weak-minded. All right, guys, now that I'm back, UFC has brought back the WFA, the minor leagues, as they would call it. Now, we all know how this game goes, man. You have to fight your way to the top. And the first victim on my list is Jeffrey Lopez. I don't know nothing about this dude. Hopefully, he comes out. He brings it. He comes with his all because I'm bringing the fist of fury to this man. Spend my fist of fury in the chat right now, man, before we get this fight started. You guys already know how I do, man. But first off, I need to check a couple things real quick. It seems like every time you start a new game, they always want to hit you with the tutorials. Man, I am a tutorial god, so I don't need all that stuff. Plus, I want to make sure I change my camera angle back to classic. All right, so this is going to be my first fight as a heavyweight, so everything is a little different as far as hand speed, leg speed. I know power is definitely different. Um, He's not even going to check that kick. That's okay. Now, I noticed that this computer is not being aggressive. Um, Maybe I might have to, you know, hurry up and get into the bigger ranks to get people's aggression up. He's not checking kicks at all. Maybe he think he's too strong. Maybe he think my shot's not powerful enough. I'm going to go ahead and have to change his mind real quick as I go ahead and put that man on the ground. But, uh, yeah, I don't notice much aggression in this fighter right here. Okay, up, hold up. Let me find out. I'm dealing with a CPU that's trying to cheat. Come, on, I don't need these grappling tutorials, sir. But like I was saying, man, maybe I'm dealing with the CPU that just wants to take the fight to the ground. Sometimes I do get those fights where the CPU is doing nothing but literally going for takedowns. It gets kind of like out of pocket sometimes. Now, if you guys notice, I tried to get up and he wouldn't let me up. But finally, I'm up and on my feet. Now, me, I'm definitely going to be standing up most. Oh, good uppercut. Oh, another one. Hold up. Oh, that's the only move you got is that uppercut. All right. Throwing a little jab. Oh, another uppercut. And another uppercut. Up. Oh, look. Going for the takedown. I'm going to go ahead and stuff that one real fast, man. Get up off me. Now, oh, that was a strong shot. If you would have hit me with that, I think I would have went down. Now, one thing that I noticed. Oh, my. The stamina is definitely key in UFC um you guys are going to be seeing it in fights as I get better as I get up in ranks that stamina is high key so if you guys are thinking about creating any fighter whether it's heavyweight light heavyweight middleweight two, oh my god the kick to the face if you guys are thinking about creating fighters definitely watch your stamina because I'm telling you now if you think you got somebody against the ropes and they hit you with that massive counter bruh that can be lights out man easy now I'm throwing all the best shots that I can trying to keep Lopez off me I don't know why but he keeps trying to take me down we might have to play some Chris Brown in the background man or something because this dude is trying to take me down crazy now I get up off him again get to your feet brother I want to knock you out on your feet now we got about a minute left in this round he finally threw a kick which was pretty good oh he threw a nice body kick right there oh my goodness and another body kick oh man let me tell you guys about blocking this year man blocking this year is insane because you literally have to press r2 to block and then if you want to block to the body you have to press r2 and l2 so it's a bit of a learning curve for some new fighters but you guys are going to get used to it oh it's hitting with a nice little three piece right there get off of me Keep your paws up off me, brother. Nobody want to go on the ground with you. Now, we got about seven seconds until the next round. Not going to get a first round knockout in my first fight ever. 
But the beast is here to stay, man. I'm just going to keep tagging him. Going to keep making him bleed. I got blood all over me. Not a scratch on me. You feel me? I might hit the club after this flight. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? But uh, the WFA, not bad, man. Uh, so far, this fighter isn't really giving me too much that I really care about besides that body kick and that <laughs> right bro i'm telling you now that right is insane but hold up sit on down fella hold up hold up big fella what you doing you finna get knocked out that's about to happen hold up let me back up oh nice right man i'm telling you guys that lead right that he's throwing out there is insane man but i'm gonna keep tagging him up with that jab man setting things up now i know you guys are probably like why isn't he throwing kicks i'm not really too good at kicks yet uh, even though most of my uh, moves are level 1, I don't want to try a kick. I don't want to lose all my stamina and then get knocked out because the computers are always good at countering. Now, this fighter looks down and now his head damage is so bad. Oh my god, another knockdown. Hold up, you know what? I'm trying to figure out if I should, if I should go in for the kill. Now, nah, get on up, brother. Get your head stamina back. Hold up, get up off me. I told you, I don't want to be, you know what? I'm sick and tired of it, man. Let's do it, man. Let's finish this fight off. Let's go ahead and get this back mount. Let me go ahead and get that back flat real quick. Hold up. Let me see real quick. Throw a couple shots, brother. You good? Is you good? I said, oh, okay, hold up. Don't you go in that top mount. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I'm telling you, if you go in that top mount, it's, it's, it's game on. I wonder if I should posture up. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Up. Half guard. Let me get in that top mount. Uh-oh. Let me posture up. Oh, dropping them bombs, dropping them hammers. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, it's over. It's over. Look at oh! Beating that man face in, you feel me? Beating that man face in, you. Yo, listen, I think I broke his cheekbones. I think he his eyebrows are gone. The hammer fist from hell. Look at that, bro. Oh, my God. Look at this. Ooh, oh my, did you see the blood splatter? <laughs> goodness gracious, bro. Oh my goodness. But that is my first fight in the WFA, guys. Episode 2 is a wrap, man. We're about to get up out of here. Let me show you guys. Look at that. Total strikes, 108 out of 137. I was definitely the aggressor here. Four knockdowns. Goodness gracious. Only got $1,600. That's all I got for this fight. All right, well, at least they liking me on social media, man. Hey, I can't be mad at that. But I'm about to go ahead and simulate my recovery, man. Let me go ahead and check out my movesets real quick, man. This is all I got here. Hopefully, we can upgrade later, guys. I'm out. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.